Welcome to Rivulus Real View, your crop's eye in the sky. Real View gives you two views of your fields, vegetation coverage and plant wetness variability. It provides you with imagery throughout the season and going back up to three years, enabling you to easily see variations or abnormalities that could indicate problems to further investigate. Let's take a closer look at vegetation coverage. This scale shows you the coverage of vegetation in your field, brown being no vegetation, through to dark green being thick vegetation coverage. Here's an example of a potato crop, and the crop as you would see it in real view. When comparing, you can see that the dark green areas show dense, lush vegetation, and the lighter green and yellow area on the image relates to less vegetation. This could be due to under-irrigated areas in the field. Now here's an example of a chickpea field with irrigation uniformity problems as you would see it in real view. You can easily see the yellow areas have problems that you can investigate, and the green areas have lush crops. Plant wetness variability shows the different moisture levels in the plants themselves, not the soil, by showing the areas of the field that are more or less moist. You may have good vegetation density, but an irrigation issue would show first in the reduction of moisture in the plants, this means you can identify issues early by using the scale. The further the scale is to the red, the greater the difference. Plant wetness variability can also indicate over-irrigation of crops. An over-irrigated crop could begin to die off, thus reducing the amount of plant wetness picked up by the satellite imagery. So, what should you look out for in both vegetative and plant wetness variability imagery? Simply put, look for sudden changes. One image is not enough. You should look at the progress of the crop development over time, and even compare with previous seasons to spot changes which could indicate irrigation or agronomic problems. But not all variations are a problem. For example, there may be a variation in an area due to a different soil type. This is generally the case if the area is large and the variation is consistent, season after season. When there is a difference that is sudden, or a small isolated area, or an area that corresponds to a specific irrigation area like a drip line or even field valve area, this indicates there may be an irrigation or plant health problem. Remember, the imagery shows a potential problem. However, you need to check what it is. For example, irrigation problem, fertilizer problem, or plant disease. Only Rivulus gives you real view to locate irrigation problems.